New blocks, textures and custom models, a model that has the most realistic visuals on Minecraft. This is Conquest Reforged. In today's video I have the goal of learning how to build with this incredible mod. So to start off I want to place down some of the more interesting blocks that I can find, like these doors for instance so that I can have a better idea of what the mod has to offer. The candles change size and shape depending on how many we stack together, so we can get this beautiful chandelier for instance which I think is very clever. We have a lot of fancy new blocks like these red sandstones, or this circle room with a dragon head on top, very cool. I would say that the focus and the looks of most of the designs is leaning towards a dark medieval style, which I really like. But there are a ton of other options that I wouldn't place in that category, like the balustrade walls for instance, the green marble that has one of my favorite textures so far, or these windows that you can stack to change its shape and size. And then we have the small detailing like the stone pressure plates that look like table plates, or the crimson ones that look like skulls and you can actually step on them. When it comes to nature we have a vast variety of leaves, and they all have connected textures so they look very nice, and there are some branches as well that allows us to make our trees look more realistic, and some animated birds which, I mean, look at them and tell me they are not cool. You can't, they are incredible. And as you can see we have a long worm of random stuff, but I think we have barely scratched the surface of what this mod has to offer. But now that we at least have a better idea, we can start building and learn the rest along the way. So what I want to do to learn more about this mod is something similar to what I did for my Cockricot video. So we will begin by building a tree, then do some small creative building, and finally some survival gameplay. No no, but Calvin, the title of this video says something different. And the thumbnail as well, see? Look at it. What what happened? What happened? You wanna know what happened? Yes, I wanna know what happened. Oh, I will tell you what happened. Action happened. happened. Conquest Reforged was updated to 1.20 recently, so I added Axiom to the mix of mods. And it didn't crash so far, but that doesn't mean that it's working. Okay, I see the arrow, that is promising, let's see how this does with the modded blocks. It seems to be working just fine with the movement of blocks. But now let's try with the editor mode, and yes, it looks like it works with no issues. Guys, this changes everything. If we have access to Axiom, we can make larger builds. With my original plans completely changed, I jumped back to the drawing board to try and come up with a new idea. I wanted something big and epic, and the aesthetics of the mod pack reminded me of games like Skyrim. But I wanted something a bit more modern, and that's when I thought about Elden Ring. I have not had the chance to play Elden Ring yet, but I've seen a lot of gameplays and I absolutely love the dark vibes. So looking through different builds and landscapes, I found one that particularly caught my attention. The Walking Mausoleum. And with that, I had a plan. So I created a new map and it was time to get started with the build. For this build I want to find a hill, that way we can build a turtle on top of it, and that way it might end up looking more epic I think. Alright, I really like this area, we just need to get rid of all the trees with a few masks and maybe terraform a little bit. I sadly lost the time lapse that I wanted to make for the legs but I basically used the rock and smooth tools to get these shapes in place, following a reference picture to make sure I could capture a feel of movement that made sense in every direction. At this point it doesn't look too much like different rocks stacked on top of each other like in the real Elden Ring mausoleum, but I think we can really fix that with a bit of hand tweaking here and there, and later on with the coloring probably. But before that I want to get the platform built on top of these legs to make sure that it will really work and get the proportions right. For that I'm thinking on a disc maybe, using the flat shape tool, and uh, no, that's, that's too flat. So maybe a thin sphere so we can play a bit more with the thickness. Oh yeah, yeah, that's going to work so much better, I like it. After a couple hours of adding rocks, smoothing and painting, we have a platform in place. The painting was a bit stressful because there were too many blocks to choose from, but following the same process and techniques that I used for vanilla building worked really well in this case. But now is when things might get tricky, because we need to build the actual structure for the mausoleum. So for the structure I think I will also follow the same process that I use for vanilla structures, which consists of starting first with the shape, making use of placeholder blocks. The mausoleum, from what I can see, has an octagonal shape, which is good because it's symmetrical. And symmetrical shapes are easy, because we just need to build two out of the eight walls and then copy them all around. 
I'm trying to get the proportions right with the red wool marking the darker pillars and overhangs. The hard and challenging part of this build will be the diagonal walls, I think. That's looking good, but it needs to be way larger. Alright, let's see what block combinations we can use to make the pillars look good. I know I said I was going to design the shape first, but I'm a bit anxious and want to visualize a more finished build. These room blocks are perfect for the overhangs, and then we can put some darker colors below to make it look like it's weathered. Ok, I think it's coming together. Let's make it larger now as we said before, and on this wall the mausoleum has a semi-circular shape, so I'm thinking maybe some window blocks could work. Hmm, they look good, but it's not accurate to the picture. Maybe with some of this limestone. It has that connected edge that kinda marks the semicircle. Yeah, I think I think it will work. Especially if we add some contrast blocks next to it. Maybe not that dark. Okay, that's so much better. And if we mark out a small circle here, yeah, I really like that. As I anticipated, the diagonal wall was a challenge for sure, especially trying to get the circular shape. Being in a diagonal, we couldn't get the connected textures, so I had to come up with an entirely new design. Also, the top of the pillars, they have some large spikes on the reference picture, so I used dripstone for that, which looks a bit thinner, but I think from a distance it works pretty well. With the design done for the walls, we just need to rotate and paste them all around to get the full octagonal shape of the mausoleum. That's looking good, but now we need to turn one of the walls into an entrance. So I think here is going to be the place to carve out and design a door. But before that, let's create a few steps leading up to the door. This design for the floor pattern is very cool, I will use it more often if I find the place. And I know there are no dragon heads in the original design, but I really like how they look in here. So I will keep them. For the rest of the actual door, I created some smaller pillars inside and spent some time tinkering around with different blocks to give the illusion of a larger door while keeping its functionality. Finally, after polishing the shape of the arch on top, I think that the door ended up looking pretty good and accurate to the one on the actual mausoleum. So far I'm liking how this is taking shape, but now we need to build the second floor of the mausoleum, for which we are going to repeat a similar process. Let's start by marking the center as a reference point. The second floor is also an octagonal shape, so we only need to design two of the walls. From what I can see in the references, the second floor is taller than the first one, so let's get the dimensions right with placeholder blocks first, red for the walls and blue for the pillars. With the dimensions and shape in place, I went around detailing the pillars. This part turned out to be way easier than the first floor, mostly because I repeated some of the blocks that I used below to make it look consistent. The diagonal was a bit more complicated as expected, but this design was easier to translate from flat to diagonal and it ended up looking pretty good. And with that done, I just copied the design and went around fixing some of the blocks that got broken in the process. So let me quickly show you some of the cool blocks that I used here. We got dark grey clay for the roof, which has a very nice color and texture, then a smooth serpentine for part of the pillars, which has this soft green hue that I really like, especially from a distance, the granite wave pattern that I showed before, very cool for the entrance, and I don't know, but I think that the mix of the blocks gives the build that ominous and epic vibe that I wanted to achieve. So it's looking very much complete, but no, we still got a lot of work to do. We need to add a bunch of vegetation all around, which is a great opportunity to see if the mod has some new grass types. The grassification will make it look a bit more natural and realistic. Also, we need to build a dead tree that lies outside of the mausoleum, and last but not least, the interior. Ok, so here we have the tree, I played around with the branches to try and make it look as realistic as I could, I wish I had more branch shapes, but I think it turned out pretty good still. And the size is consistent with the mausoleum, which I was afraid of going too big. Now for the interior we got a lot of work to do, I got my reference pictures for this again and I'm going to try my best to make an accurate representation of the inside of the structure. First, I will begin with the floor, which for what I can see follows the same concentric octagonal shape as the outside walls. But we need to find a color and design that matches the best with the one on the original game. The travertine is nice, but I think it's a little too bright for the center. This other one looks like an outside weather block, so no. The granite brick, uh, I, th I think I like that one the most. Yep, granite brick it is. Now, we will need a second block for the outside ring. This one is not bad, but I don't know, that small pattern might get a bit tiring to look at if we use it on a large floor. Mm, let's see, we need something simpler. These are cool, but definitely not simpler. Ok, I don't even know what I'm trying at this point. 
Alright, let's use this one for now. We can replace it later on if I find one better. The octagonal shape is in place and uh, I don't like it. Okay, don't panic, Calvin. You like building, just keep going, trust the process. Okay, that's looking way better. Still not good enough, but better. Alright, so I don't know how to say this. I'm definitely the opposite of smart, because I've been missing like a core central piece of this mod. So if we place a stone cutter, we can get access to all these new smaller blocks, like vertical slabs and smaller pieces that opens the room for a lot of detailing. And the worst part is that I knew about this, because I played survival with Conquest Reforged a while ago. But since I didn't see it in the creative tab, I was just thinking that they got rid of the feature in the update. I don't know, as I said, not smart of me. The thing that gave it away was Axiom, because I found those smaller blocks in the item list there. So, another point to my Axiom fanaticism, yay! With access to this new feature, I could build a coffin in the center of the mausoleum, making use of all the small bits that I could to give it a realistic shape and look. One of my favorite things were these rocks that looked like rumble pieces that fell off of the mausoleum ceiling. With enough time and patience, I designed the front walls, which I believe ended up looking very good, and I gotta admit, building with small blocks takes time, but it's very fun and different to what we can normally do in Minecraft. So this is the final result of the interior, I changed the block that I didn't like to smooth stone, which I think is way better, and added some small slabs and bits in the floor to make the transition softer. I also did my best to add the statues on the diagonal walls with their own design, and I left some holes in the roof to let some light come in over the coffin, which is an effect that looks way better with shaders on. There are also some changes on the outside as well. I didn't modify too much the shape of things, but I did use smaller blocks on the pillars to make them look less chunky when we are close to them, and also to improve the shape of some of the arches. Remember how I said that we didn't have many branch variations? Well, I was wrong. If you put the branch on the stone cutter, you will get a tone of them, which I used to make the shape of the tree look better. It's still a bit chaotic, but for now it's good enough. I might give it another try someday when I have more time. Something that was really helpful in this detailing process were the Axiom tabs. There are so many blocks and block variations that having easy access to them when pressing Shift was incredibly helpful, and I would absolutely recommend using them if you are working on something like this. I'm incredibly happy with this result, I didn't expect to enjoy it as much, so let me know if you'd like me to do some more stuff with Conquest Reforged in the future, I'd be happy to. But anyways, if you like the video, don't forget to click the button, and this is going to be everything for today. This has been Calvin, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.